What's up, y'all? It's Emil and it's Junior back here with Clever News. And it's time to talk about Kim Kardashian, Jamila Jamil, and maternity shapewear. Let's break it down. So if you're a fan of Kim Kardashian and or Jamila Jamil's, you probably caught some of their back and forth over the years. Jamila has famously called out Kim and many other members of the Kardashian family for promoting unhealthy weight loss mechanisms like diet teas, lollipops, and other appetite depressants. Now, Kim defended her endorsements amid Jamila's criticism, and it's just clear that these two have very different views on body positivity. And now Jamila is speaking out again about the dangers of shapewear, coincidentally enough, after Kim debuted her Skims maternity line. A couple of days ago, Kim announced that her shapewear line, Skims, was launching maternity solution wear, which according to Kim, quote, offers the best in comfort and support for your changing body during and after pregnancy. So shortly after Kim shared the news about her new product, Jamila chimed in on both Twitter and Instagram writing, it would be so cool if pregnant people could just be allowed to be pregnant and get bigger and not be self-conscious and enjoy the miracle taking place inside their body and not have to worry about feeling embarrassed and shamed that their body is changing for an amazing reason. Now, many believe that this tweet was a direct hit at Kim for revealing her new line, including Kim herself. She took to Twitter to share her side of the story. Without calling Jamila out by name, in a series of tweets, Kim wrote, to anyone who has an issue with maternity solution wear, and if you haven't been pregnant before, you may not know the struggle of what it's like carrying all this weight the way I did along with millions of strong women, Skim's maternity line is not to slim, but to support. She went on and explained that the belly part doesn't slim your belly, it's actually sheer and a thinner layered material compared to the rest of the garment. It provides support to help with the uncomfortable weight being carried in your stomach, which affects your lower back. And Kim concluded by saying, we launched this category in response to the tens of thousands of pregnant women who wrote us requesting it and because it was something I personally needed when I was pregnant myself. She also added that she's already received a ton of positive feedback from pregnant women. Chrissy Teigen even chimed in defending Kim's maternity solution wear, both on Twitter and on her IG stories. Hi guys, actual pregnant person here, just wanting to show you and maybe talk a little bit about what pregnancy shapewear is. Chrissy went on and said, quote, on the controversy that is pregnancy shapewear, it's not to be smaller. These brands aren't pressuring us to be smaller. Thanks for looking out for us, everyone, but we're good. Jamila re-entered the chat Monday morning with a new IG post of a screenshot with a headline about all of this drama between her and Kim. She claims that she actually wasn't calling Kim out, but rather was just talking about pregnancy shapewear in general. Alongside the headline screenshot, in a lengthy post, Jamila wrote, I'd already read Kim's description of the product before I spoke. I was only talking about the discourse online around body shaming during pregnancy and people wearing shapewear specifically to look slimmer rather than for support. She went on to slam the media writing, bored of my name being used to drag me into shit that I'm not trying to be involved in. If I was calling her out, I would just call her out. I've hardly been shy about it in the past. I'm not a passive aggressive person, I'm extremely direct. And Jamila concluded by saying, from what I understand, her product is safe. But there is definitely a huge societal problem with the way pregnant people feel they have to look while making a baby. Not to mention the drama and pressure of post-pregnancy bodies a whole other nightmare that we as a society have to tackle. And fans have a lot to say about all of this since Kim and Jamila's back and forth. Some people defended Kim's products writing things like, I will say just wearing things to support the belly really helps my back pain during pregnancy. They make pregnancy bands. And this person who called Jamila out wrote, no sorry, I agree with you on a lot of things, but as someone who has had two babies, I really wish I would have had this back then for the overall support for my back. Haters gonna hate on Kim all day long. And this fan chimed in writing, how about pregnant women wear whatever they feel comfortable in? Shapewear, cool. Sweatpants, cool. But others questioned where these headlines came from, with one person saying, they're just using this as a way to get more publicity for their product. It's clear Jamila never said it wasn't safe, they just tried to twist it. And this fan even shared their own experience, agreeing with Jamila's original sentiment writing, you're 100% right. We have struggled with infertility for four years and are finally pregnant through IVF. I want to celebrate every moment of this, but as a plus size person, I already am feeling pressure of how my body will be perceived through this journey. Trying to love and celebrate your body is harder than it should be in this society. So clearly the internet is really torn on whose side to take on this one. But this isn't the first time that Jamila Jamil has called out the press. Click right over here to see what she had to say about the press calling her and Meghan Markle best friends. And then let us know down in the comment section below what you think about all of this shapewear drama. And of course, I'm a millionist junior and I'll see you soon right back here on Clever. Bye guys.